Hola Chicanos. Mm -hmm. Bill, what sign you want me doing now? Six Gemini. Gemini. Miss Bill, what would you like to uh what should uh, Gemini's be aware of? This fine evening. Slow moving night, Virgo Leo energy. Uh, a fool taking a leap of faith, every single contingency, unlimited options. Oh, shit. Holy Spirit, Gemini, Gemini. be an empress, harmonious change, keeping things balanced, smooth running, slow, going slow, not, not rushing, mm. good center of gravity, keeping grounded, mm -hmm. could be gardening with the wild and fertile land, or even just cutting the grass, Aries, Virgo, Leo, and Truth coming out. Could be an, an earth sign, or you could have earth sign in your chart. This is earth air. Um, somebody honorable, diligent, can be trusted, coming in with the truth. Hmm. It adds up to somebody highly intuitive. Gemini. What do we got for Gemini there, Holy Spirit? Oh, yeah, that's your energy. That's Aquarius energy, but it can be your energy too. Oh, is that... Just a sec here. Looking glass. Gemini Taurus energy, so uh, Nine of Wands of Swords. It's somebody rushing and doing something quick. Why did I just put that back in there? It's a heart of the situation. Somebody could be coming and doing something brave or quick, or yeah, something. What the hell is it? Mm -hmm. There it is. Okay, that's the heart of the situation. Could be uh, that's your energy there, Gemini. So we're on the right track. Could have a Taurus around you too, or you could just be really like in a. You don't really want to move. You want to stay uh, on. Like Tauruses don't. Uh, they don't bend. You know what I mean. They're known for that anyway. It, it's hard for them if they don't want to do something. They won't do it. In the uh, challenge position, it's very hard for them to actually do too because they're fixed on. Challenges, <laughs> tower. Um, with if you're in a relationship, this could be like a tower to your relationship. It just means that some there's an up going to be an upheaval. It doesn't mean that that leads to transformation. This doesn't mean death. It just means transformation. This is heavy scorpionic energy. So this is the challenge is, is that there's a lot of transformation coming. Like this could be in your present energy right now. Um, Twenty. 29 31 something backwards that's 13 dr death again so that's like triple action 13 this is challenges is that dr death is like literally gonna like flip the table over or whatever but it needs to be done and it's gonna 
it's better to get it over with quick, right? Uh, two of Cups, Cancerian Energy, Heavy, Heavy Scorpio. And it might be coming by somebody coming in and doing something quick. So just, if you know you have people around you that um, maybe uh, don't have your best interest, just maybe don't like lock your door or whatever. Like, so they need, they need, I don't know. I'm going to pull on that right now. I'll see if it's a thread. And I'm not getting it. This could be, I'm getting this could be you, Gemini, because you're, you're the air sign. That's the only air card that came out so far. So, um, uh, subconsciously, what you're thinking there, Gemini is uh about a cancerian or you could be thinking about a uh, mother figure you could be keeping things balanced the challenge is to keep the, your relation well, that's choices you have to have choices the blasted tower is definitely something quick coming in that uh but subconsciously you're thinking about forward movement gain control your environment and victory or a cancerian this is also balance too. That's why the balance is in the challenge position too there because uh, it's pretty hard to balance through a tower, like I say. But it can be done. And uh, this tower might not be for you too. It could be for a Scorpio. It could be uh, for uh, two of cups is Cancer. That's Cancerian too. Yeah, this so Cancer. And your subconscious too is thinking about uh, this. Can also be Mother. Cancer is motherly, right? Uh, let's see here. Um, subconscious past. How the fuck do we get here? Uh, okay, this one here? Okay, in the past, somebody was highly skilled. This is um, somebody who's got all four elements and knows how to use them. Uh, presently, let's see. Presently, you somebody's highly guarded in your energy while somebody's coming in with a cup of love. Mm, this is Aquarius, Piscean energy, um, Sagittarius energy, quick coming in. But you're guarded or somebody in the present moment is guarded, like somebody's very guarded. The battle wounded soldier. Uh, they're guarded from this, they, they, maybe somebody's coming in to, uh, whatever this energy is, is it... Then nobody's gonna get past their defenses because, uh, yeah, <clears throat> they have chip wires everywhere. Like, and I don't mean like physical ones. I mean like, if somebody's trying to come in with a couple of to fucking like, literally bring something else, but like make it look like a couple of them, like they're not even gonna get to the door. So they won't touch the door. Not like it. Like promise you that. They got hidden helpers. So um, says up to ten at completion or whatever it is. I don't know, I'm smelling something like it's not what it seems here. Which, I don't even know if this person will know, will know about it, because like I say, the person's not going to get to the doorknob. Or to the building, maybe. Uh, if it is a building, it could be uh, wherever this person is that's guarded. Um, future. Yeah, in the future, somebody's going to be working hard at their craft. Mm, perfecting something, prudence, being meticulous in what they do. This is Virgo energy. Uh, the way you're influencing things, uh, Gemini, is... You could be a little stressed out right now because of a King of Wands. Mm, it's Cancerian Leo energy. So this is a Cancer, maybe. Yeah, this Cancer has uh, some kind of fire... Uh, Fire high in their chart. Um, it says up to another 10 completion. Dr. Death is like, it's like he's completing all these cycles. They're like, uh, yeah. Well, we'll see. We have to go deeper. I can't really say that yet. <clears throat> Hopes and fears. Yeah. You're hoping for this. Uh, what is this? Where's that? Scorpio Libra energy, okay. This is somebody who's mastered their feelings, they're balanced actually, so. And the Queen of Swords, I'm thinking this is you. You're hoping to be highly perceptive, I'm thinking, and that's probably a good way to be right now. Um, definitely with these towers coming, like, because somebody's just be, somebody's gonna, you might be rushing in and doing something quick. 
I'm getting that because you seem to be the only air sign here and you're the magician too. The magician is usually Gemini Virgo energy, right? So unless you know a Virgo, that was in the past. So, so you could be this magician and this Knight of Swords. These are just hopes and fears too. This might not even be going on. But this is a good way to think. Master your feelings. Don't let your feelings get in the way. To like where somebody can manipulate them because this Cancerian might be one of those people that manipulates people's feelings. That's how they they get past people's defenses. I'm not saying that it's what it is. I'm just I'm getting that feel off of it. And yeah, I'm thinking this is you. Like this isn't even because Cancerian that I'm picking up on. They don't. They're not master of their feelings. They may. Uh, yeah. They they they're feelings well master them uh, we've got um <clears throat> the lens you're looking through so many four of cups you could be feeling rejected right now from a ten of cups it adds up to 14 though this is like ancestral like uh this is like ancestral love this could be your ancestors could be visiting you right now uh this cancerian this could be a Ooh, this could be a grandfather, cancer energy. Um, yeah, this could be a grandfather, possibly on your father's side, uh, who's maybe watching over you right now. Um, and the Pisces, he could be watching over Pisces. I think he really likes this Pisces. That could be somebody you live with. Uh, yeah, he's watching over them, I think. Uh, and you. Um, that's up to 14 ancestral. It could be Archangel Michael, too, but I'm getting a. Uh, like blood relation, like uh, ancestor, somebody you maybe knew when you were really young. Maybe they passed away uh, when you were young, but uh, yeah, they're, they're, they've taken a liking to this place. They're kind of like a protector to this place, so I'm thinking. They protect basically everybody, I think, in their line, but uh, yeah, definitely. It's definitely who this cancer could be. Uh, they're like all over this read now that I look at it now. That's why there could be transformation going on is the challenge because yeah, this person creates a lot of transformation that maybe you won't notice. But if you see lights flickering in your house and shit, like, uh, yeah, that's, that's them. And, yeah. If somebody looks like really scared around your house too, like that, somebody who's normally like, not like that, but like on edge or whatever, yeah, just stay away from that person because that could be this person. Like, maybe that person doesn't mean you any good, I'm just saying. But yeah. If you see somebody with like wide eyes and like they're just like, just, there's a reason why they're like that. I would, wouldn't let them in your house, whoever the hell that is. Um, in the environment. Um, ten of Pentacles, wow, we're the King of Pentacles. This could be a, a business, somebody, maybe somebody, or this could be your partner, this could be you if you have Earth High in your chart. Or just a business person with 10 pentacles adds up to 11 balancing of the scales in the environment. Taurus energy, heavy Taurus and Virgo and Capricorn too. Or Aries and Taurus actually is in this deck. Huh. Yeah. In the environment, there's, there's something going on financially. Uh, and it's going to happen quick, I think, too. Regarding the uh, outcome. There's certain things, that's why, there's a lot of hidden things going on right now, Gemini, that maybe you're not aware of, but you might not see them, but they're going on. Um, somebody's getting a different perspective of things, somebody could be feeling stuck. Uh, they're waiting for something, this adds up to the devil. So this could be like a rebellion, this could be um, addiction, it could be, um, somebody could feel stuck by their addictions, like uh, somebody could feel like maybe they have sacrificed an addiction. Is just waiting for something, waiting, waiting, waiting. Let's see. Okay, what are what's this? Uh, give me one on the hangman here. What are you waiting for? Or what's the uh, hold up? What's the uh, getting a different perspective of things too? Maybe. Yeah, you're spying things out right now. This is good energy for you to be in right now, Gemini, or in the future when this happens. Uh, this adds up to thirteen. <laughs> Doc, death, death again. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking you're thinking of a different of this cancer right here subconsciously. This is some maybe somebody that that maybe, but this person right here. Where the fuck was I just? 
just about that. Yeah. This right here, the one that adds up to 14. The lens you're looking through, like you might not notice it, but you're maybe you're there's certain thoughts that you're getting right now that maybe you aren't yours. That's just this person around you. That's literally like fifth dimensional, like protecting you right now. Uh, yeah. And they're really, really good at it too. Um, but like I say, people might act weird around you when this person's around you. Like if somebody's be not meant for you, if somebody starts acting funny around you, I would get away from that person because there's a reason why they're that it's that person doesn't want them around you because they know they don't have your best interests around you again. I would trust it and just you do whatever you want, use your own discernment. But bottom of the deck, we've got uh, an honorable, slow, diligent. I think this person could have earth in their thing too. Um, not showing up reverse, but I'm thinking that's because they're literally like on this. They're not reaching out from the other side. Like they're they're allowed to come in, come here right now. Mm. Mm. Uh, yeah, we get a definite card back. Um, here's Dr. Des, 1977 here. Uh, mm. <laughs> the truth was stuck in there, so a truth's gonna come out. This person's maybe trying to lead you to a truth, too. Maybe just listen to your inner nudges right now. Maybe. Have a notebook by your, your bed, and if you have a dream, like, write it down right away so you don't forget about it, because they could talk to you like that, too, right? Uh, definitely try and stay relaxed. And definitely if you see lights flickering or just things falling off, things, like, don't be alarmed. That's this person. Um, who's protecting you right now? I think they're, they're protecting this. You, you might have a younger... Um, yeah, Pisces or something. This person is like a family person. They they like uh, they really like uh, children. Like they're really good with children. Like mm, uh, ten cups. You wouldn't think about it though, cause they're like a really like bigger. Like they look like an ogre or whatever. But they they uh, kids love them too. Right? So the kids feel safe around them. Uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, Knight of Swords is, um, mm, okay, you want this Knight of Swords, is this, um, Gemini, or Taurus, rushing in, Taurus is like a movable object too, so yeah, nobody tells Taurus what to do. Uh, you could be going to financial holes right now. This this tower that's coming is gonna maybe break whatever that is. Somebody maybe has some freeze. I don't know if you pertain to that or anything, but somebody might have been trying to do something to slow down your finances, like energetically maybe stealing off you. Uh, Knight of Swords is uh, this tower's get is what that's why this tower's coming. Literally, that's why it's coming because it beats. It'll break those chains, whatever that is. Um, yeah, somebody rushing in, doing something quick. This could be a uh, Taurus. Um, this is a higher font. Somebody who belongs to a uh, church, uh, religious order, or institution. Much is hidden about this. I'm thinking that much is hidden about this. Is this uh, Cancer? Um, this is definitely the moon. Yeah, they would show up like that. Uh, but I think that they're literally like, if you know that, I don't know. If there's a Pisces around you, I'm thinking that they're following, they're around this person. Mm. So it's up to um, 23. Yeah, the Hierophant again. This person could have been uh, a pretty solid person too. Uh, like, they might not have been a Taurus. They could have had Taurus high in their chart. But they um, were solid like a bull, you know what I mean? Like an immovable, an immovable object, let me put it that way. Like you would, like they're not, they're, they're in spirit form, obviously, though, right? So you would, you would, you might feel that energy, though, that there's just like, a, like almost like, a, you know, like when uh, rock stars go down the street and they have like those big giant guys that, like, with, that are like 10 feet tall and they're like, whatever, they can like pick a car up or like guys, like, like somebody like that. Like that energy, though, and like you, like not physically, but you maybe feel like a big presence. 
challenge position, we've got a, um, yeah, transformation is definitely going down, but it's going to come quick. And if you're in a, a love union or like have a partner or whatever, yeah, I would just like, I would stick together just through this because it might, might be like an upheaval, you know what I mean? But yeah, just try not to be fighting with anybody because this should be quick or whatever the fuck this is. Towers are always quick. This could be a um, Scorpio too, some, a Scorpio maybe bringing this tower. This is a full Scorpio energy, so. Scorpio and Cancer. So heavy water, feelings. Uh, so don't get any any heated arguments or anything. Or I wouldn't. I'm going to tell you what to do. Give me one on this uh, tower. This tower is... Somebody's guarded. Means what's causing this tower. Maybe somebody... Nine of Wands guarded. Somebody could be... Guarded about something at... Scorpio. Okay, what's give me one on the Scorpio? It's transformation. What what areas is gonna be transformed for Gemini? Okay, somebody from the past. An harmonious change. You're gonna, there's gonna be hard maybe you were beefing with somebody from the past, or maybe you guys you didn't even know what you're beefing about, or maybe maybe just some bad signals were crossed or something and maybe somebody you know maybe people could have taken things wrong right away. This adds up to uh Eight. This is Leo energy. You could have a Leo around you too. Um, from this is somebody from your past, so maybe harmonious change. Maybe somebody you're beefing with. Maybe you'll 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 uh, bury hatchet or something like that. I don't know. Uh, the um, subconscious. Yeah, subconscious. This this is this is uh, this um chariot this cancer this could be something you know this could be just you get it you're thinking how we want to get forward movement gain control your environment and victory that's why i think these these towers are coming is literally to like kind of give you a jump start to do that we got in the uh give me one on the, the chariot here this could, could be this uh ancestor from the past i'm getting that heavy but it's mostly around this uh pisces you might have pisces around you um <clears throat> This is a uh, page of wands. Yeah, explore and you'll get good news about this this uh, cancer. Or getting forward movement and gaining control of your environment. Whatever that means to you. That's up to eight Leo energy. Yeah, this person could be around that. If you have like younger, younger siblings or whatever. Uh, I'm not getting that though. I'm getting most of your... your, uh, your um, if you have kids that are like grown. Um... Like, uh, but this person, I think that he's still, like, around them, you know what I mean? And maybe because, just because they know this tower's coming, whatever that is. Mm. Okay, in the past, there's somebody highly skilled uh, in the environment. This is you. You were highly skilled, Gemini, in the past. So it's up to seven, and you got four movement, you can control your environment. Mm. Yeah, the magician. The magician's, like, highly skilled. Whatever it is you do, Gemini, you're very, uh, you're very skilled at it. Uh, maybe you don't even know what it is that you're skilled at yet. Sometimes you don't find these things out till later, right? Uh, the present moment, somebody's very, very guarded. Could be a Sagittarius. Somebody coming in with a couple. Okay, give me one of this couple of that's coming in. I want to know about. Could be a water sign. Could be this Scorpio or this Cancer. Uh, somebody who's feeling rejected. Uh, maybe apologizing. Uh, could be a Taurus. Adds up to five. Um, 14 ancestors. Mm. Okay, who's guarded here? You could be guarded from this person coming in with this couple up. Could be, uh, maybe not feeling good sickness here. You could just be taking a break. Maybe you just need some alone time. Which, uh, what is that? 9, 4, 13. This adds up to Scor heavy Scorpio and Cancer energy. And with Sagittarius, this is ancestors. These could both be ancestors. This could be a Scorpio ancestor. It could be a uh, Cancerian ancestor. I, these are very close. I'm thinking whoever they are. Uh, okay, cut this couple of love. Somebody's bringing a couple of love because they feel rejected or they don't want you to feel rejected. Maybe. Or, um, this can also mean stagnancy. Though. Like some somebody... If you're trying to keep you stagnant, coming in with a couple of it could be a Taurus, an Earth sign. 
uh, in the future, you're going to be uh, working at something, the Lord of Prudence, like holding back, though, like knowing when, when to hold back. With, uh, yeah, this is you being an empress in the future, which adds up to 11, justice. You could have Libra high in your chart, and this is you getting balance in the future, somehow with your through work, whatever you do for work. Uh, holding back, though, like not letting the right, wrong things in HUZ. You can be walking away or holding back. Or, uh, yeah, it's 11, justice, so balance. The way you're influencing things is you're a little stressed out right now. That's your energy, Gemini. And the King of Wands, you could be thinking very creatively right now. Or this could be this Leo that's in your energy. Definitely. Or this Cancer when in their creative mode. This is uh, Leo Cancer energy. I'm getting you got a Leo, a Pisces. Um, you could have a Taurus. And I'm getting two passed on relatives around you, like literally, like there's like a Scorpio and a Cancer, heavy, like heavy Cancer and Scorpio, but the Scorpio could just be from the um, the um, hit towers hitting, right? There's a lot of transformation. Give me one this King of Wands. I'm thinking this is a Leo, who's like a leader. They're gonna, they could be a great leader. They definitely have the skills. You could be uh, maybe stressed out a little bit, or they could be. Could be like a younger adult. Um, Queen of Pentacles, somebody in Capricorn. This is somebody working hard too. This is somebody enjoys the fruits of their labor. Um, Capricorn energy is hard work, like hard work. Um, hmm. I don't like the way she looks in this one, but. Hmm. That up to that's justice again. That adds up to justice again. So, whatever you're working on, that could be a Taurus too. Maybe working. Mm. Anyways, your fears that you could be fearing a King of Cups, or you could be hoping to, to uh, keep your your feelings controlled right now, which I'm thinking is very important. I'm getting that strong too. That's probably why these ancestors these ancestors are around you because they know that these uh, there's going to be an upheaval, and they just want. They just want to be around there. They can strengthen you emotionally too. Just know they're around you. Um, this is your energy right here. You're ready to take some head or whatever. You're you're basically uh, cutting out some, maybe cutting out some things that maybe you know are holding you back. Don't have to be. Uh, but you're mastering your feelings. See how you're staring down your snakes there? Maybe you know you have some snakes around there. And right now is that. That's why I'm thinking maybe. Um, this ancestor could be around you too, because uh, the one I'm thinking of, like they, they, they remove snakes. Is what, like, yeah. And like, that's what I mean. If you see somebody like with wide eyes, like, uh, like just like, they might even look like they're on drugs or something like that, or but they could be just really, really scared. Maybe it's, that could be this person just doesn't want them around there, right? They, they, they get rid of snakes. Uh, give me one on this King of Cups. This King of Cups. Uh, yeah, I was going to shed light on this, whatever this is. They're going to shed light on whatever this is you're worried about, this King Cup, mastering your feelings. Light's going to be shed on, uh, this it calls down divine judgment. This is divine judgment being called down on your behalf so that you can see everything. Because when the sun comes out and you've got your feelings mastered, people, you cannot be put in illusions. When you're in, the Queen of Swords never gets put in illusions. She's too perceptive. She, she catches everything. And you can't pull on her heartstrings. You can't like get her to, like, I don't know. Oh, baby died, and all of a sudden, like, you pull. Like, some people can actually use that to like manipulate people and get them to do things they normally wouldn't do. Right? Like on CNN when they drop a plane and oh, baby died, and everybody's like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, it's, sometimes it's to pull away from like what's really going on. You know what I mean? Uh, and this is you're closing all the cycle with something here. Is what you're hoping for. The lens you're looking through is, this is the Cancerian energy, this is the, the Cancerian heavy ancestor, could be around the Pisces, maybe you know around in your energy, 14 ancestors, um, Sagittarius energy, like uh, Angel Fire, like Archangel Michael, mm. yeah, going with the flow too, this is like, um, basically like, not trying to push anything, like, just let it fall into place. That's what they're there for, right? Give me one on this, uh, this, um, four of cups. 
And then this person is uh, full of cups can be like feeling rejected. Maybe somebody's feeling rejected around you now, and this this uh, ancestor could just be trying to strengthen them. You know? Mm. What the fuck is that? Page of Swords. Okay, be careful. This is the way you're lensing through. You could be. This is the lens you're looking through, actually. So you could be looking through things as if you're stagnant right now. You could be doing some underhanded spying on somebody. This is like. Um, yeah, this is your energy. So on 10, maybe you got a, somebody you have 10 cups of love for and you could be uh, spying on them. Like, this is underhanded spying, though. This is like cops coming in your house and like putting listening devices like unwarranted ones right this could be like uh i don't know hacking somebody's shit this could be like uh mm, i don't know any any nefarious way like even this could even be like go like creeping somebody's facebook but as someone else you know like being deceptive in what you're doing right it's underhanded like like uh espionage um maybe on a pisces or a pisces could be no, this isn't the lens you're looking through. Uh, what's this Ten Cups of Love? That, uh, I'm thinking this could be this ancestor as Ten Cups of Love. This is, um, okay, this is some, okay, this is the Hangman River. Okay, the lens you're looking at is, this is a really bad love offer. Uh, and getting unstuck, though. Hmm. Yeah, because the hangman reverse is like not getting a different perspective of things. Maybe you, you're you're set. You don't want to get it. Maybe you've already made your decision. This is um, getting unstuck, though. Uh, but if it's a sacrifice, it's an unrighteous sacrifice. It's not a sacrifice. It's righteous. And this is the lens you're looking to. So if you're looking at this uh, reverse cup of love, you could be looking at sending a cup of love to somebody who, uh, yeah, like a bad cup of love. Like, you're, you're not being as you, like, you may be looking like, like, coming to somebody, like, as if you're trying to help them out, but really you're not. You're trying to do something else. Just put, that's what the cards say, right? And maybe even, like, spying underhandedly on them. Mm. Like, in a nefarious, this is almost like a creepy way, you know what I mean? Sometimes I use the analogy of, like, somebody, like, swinging from a tree outside your window waiting for you to come out of a shower with, like, like jar lube and, like, <laughs> like hopefully it's not that creepy, but. Besides up to like, uh, yeah, 14 again, ancestors. Then That doesn't pertain to them, though, because they're allowed to do that shit, right? Mm. They're not doing any creepy way. It's more about protection and support, right? Mm. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, Maybe, maybe you have to do that, though, you know, if somebody's, like, trying to spy on 